Well hello and welcome back to Metal Machine Shop and finally we have a more or less finished product. So this is the tilting trike I've been working on for some time. Uh, I've done some final fettling to get it to a state where I could actually test it on the road. So this is an update on what I've done so far and then we'll have a look at the test riding. So a quick canter through from front to back. Here I've got the brake splitter for the single uh, brake lever which is on the left hand handlebar and I've got the brake cables going down to the front drum brakes, one on the right, one on the left. Moving further down I've got the crank here and the chain rings. Chains all fitted. Those are the idlers that uh, take the chain around the various directions it has to go in. Uh, I've cobbled together a wooden seat just made out of plywood. Not very comfortable but uh, a little bit of padding will make it a bit better. Here we have the gear shifter. Uh, unfortunately because of the design of the shifter the cable's got to loop up and around there I might just turn the shifter around so that the cable can be routed more neatly down the handlebars. There's a bit of excess handlebar that I've yet to cut off but I will do that shortly. On the left hand side similar kind of thing. So this is the hand position, single brake lever, again lots of spare handlebar to be removed. So this is the rider's eye position with my foot in the pedal in the uppermost position. You get reasonably good visibility forwards and the view is not obstructed by your knees or your feet. So I've ridden it around quite a bit now and some first impressions. Firstly, it did actually take me quite a long time to get the hang of the balance because the centre of gravity is actually very low. It does topple over quite easily, so you have to be quite quick to catch the topple with the, uh, with the handlebars, with the steering. Um, you can't move your body weight around so much as you can on a bike, so that doesn't help. Um, but once I'd learnt to just relax and got confidence that it actually was going to balance, uh, then I was able to actually get it going and stay upright most of the time anyway. I think one of the things I will fit is an, an actual tilt lock so that at low speeds or zero speed you can just lock the tilting so it stays upright like a normal trike. So other impressions, it's quite a long wheelbase so the turning circle's quite poor um, but if you slow right down once you've got the hang of the balance you can actually get used to steering in a reasonably tight turning radius, probably something like five or six meters radius if you're really lucky. Higher speeds, um, quite comfortable tilting over. The tilting does seem to work quite well and it's fairly easy to retain balance once you get going. Thank <laughs> you. 
So now that I've proven that it does actually work and it is rideable, more or less, uh, what I'm going to do now is do a bit of final fettling with uh, either woodwork and maybe painting some of the bare metal components, um, cutting away some of the spare wood to reduce some weight, sanding the edges and then a bit of final painting or varnishing or oiling of the woodwork to finish it off. So that's it for this time, thanks for watching. It's good to finally get the bike on the road or the trike on the road uh, and proving that it does actually work. Next time I think I'll do a compilation video of the whole build from start to finish including the test riding. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you again soon.